and for grades 1, 2, 3, and 4, where we got Promethean boards, visualizers, and projectors, and a set of computers. classrooms and seeing people using the Promethean boards, that it's really being used to supplement instruction. Um, I have not seen people using um, this technology to supplant good instruction, but really to augment and uh, make it clearer for students. It's been really good with our ELLs. Um, I think that to have those visuals has been excellent for them. And anytime you have new technology, it keeps students' interest and engagement. So I've been very pleased with that. Stay loud. Yep, yeah, really loud. Promethean technology in all subject areas. The technology has enhanced my instruction by adding more visuals. Um, and it's given a chance to use more realia for our low English speaking learners to really understand different concepts and new really enjoyed content. using the Promethean board. Um, it has helped, the organization of the flip chart pages has helped focus my lessons. Um, it has also made it easy to add a lot of picture support for my ELL learners. And it makes it easy to add real-world um, examples of concepts we're learning and to really show the students why it's important to learn. Technology of the interactive whiteboards fit into my instruction, especially in ELD class because the picture support uh, really works and having the interactive combination of pictures and utterances uh, really lets us help kids develop. Giant. So where where should we put it? Up with, where's the word giant? Well, the word giant's not up there, but you can. Which is it? A big word? A big animal or a little animal? So put it with. Where are the big words? There you go. Most challenging part of you know, taking on something new like the Promethean technology was just learning to speak that language, learning to, to create charts and, uh, you know, but I think the nice thing about it was there's an entry level to, with making Promethean. You can just kind of mess around with it and you can create something. And then as you learn more tricks, you know, you, you know, kind of, you know, just keep adding to your bag of tricks, your toolbox, and, you know, then you can come up with some great stuff. To Another problem with. is how to troubleshoot problems on the spot without um, interrupting the flow of the lesson. But I think as, you know, we've gone on, I've gotten better at that. <laughs> and lastly, um, the fl with flexibility and altering just kind of the flow of the lesson and the order that we do things in to account for student Another needs. wonderful challenge to have is the availability of all the resources that are out there. You can spend hours finding the resources and get caught up in that instead of honing in on what you need to teach. But I really am thankful that there are so many resources. The biggest challenge has been kids waiting for me to catch up. Um, kids being impatient with me while I figure out how to use it and that had me terrified at first. And I've gotten a lot better about that but there are still plenty of things I want to do with it and I'm apprehensive about uh, like I really want to be more interactive and hand over the pen to kids more and I'm still working up to doing that the way
is su successful is that my students are a lot more engaged and have a lot more support with the Promethean technology. I can say that for sure. Um, you know, when, if we look at data down the line, hopefully a good, some good improvement comes from the, using the Promethean technology as well. The success of the Promethean board for students has been that it gives them the opportunity to engage more in what is on the board. Uh, it provides multiple resources for them to use. It's available in its diversity for all students with what it can uh, supply. It can give an outline for the day for students. So it has just been another engaging tool, which is similar to what kids have outside of the schoolroom walls that they can uh, utilize for success. For is just I think it's very been very affirming for kids to get their words up there and see how their words add into what was already in the flip chart and combine with the pictures. It's empowering for them. They um, they give me input one day and the next day they come back and there are more pictures in there and they see their words attached to their those pictures and they get to interact with that. Um, so I feel like it's uh, really engage them actively in constructing the product that shows their learning and that's been the really successes helpful. my students have had have been um, certainly their ability to manipulate the technology has greatly increased at the more we've used it and I've also seen a rise in their um, engagement during whole group lessons. They really like the stuff on the board, they love all the visuals, um, it's cool because you can put in video clips which really draws them in so they've had some good stuff. How much change would you need if you bought a Coke for 48 cents and you paid with $1? Put in your answer right now, please. Try it again. 